I want to let you into a little secret. I've never been a particularly hairy man. Yes, all right, I know, too much information. You're probably having your dinner right now. Fair enough. I'm talking about my chin. I can go several days without the CGTN cameras picking up my stubble. So imagine my surprise when this company, Dow Jones component Procter & Gamble, recently turned in a huge loss because beards are back. Professor Russ Weiner says he thinks there's more to it than that. Competition from the internet, such as Dollar Shave Club and Harry's. We've seen these kinds of trends over many years hurt other kinds of industries. We knew they wanted to maintain the beard. Husband and wife team Kim and John Scala know a thing or two about beards. They've been running the New York Shaving Company in Manhattan for 12 years. John looks after the customers. Kim's in charge of everything else. Tommy Dyer's here for a trim from John, just in time for the freezing New York winter. You do have a very, very sharp blade in your hand, don't you? I do. Have you ever slipped? No. John says wearing a beard for many men is more like a way of life. Requires a lot more maintenance than just shaving it off. So that's definitely one of the reasons why we're, you know, continuing to grow our business. With Tommy under the hot towels, I wonder why he prefers to wear a beard. I think I'm too lazy to shave. He says after a while, a beard just grows on you. Simple as that. While John continues to work on Tommy, Kim shows me a range of products, all made locally in nearby New Jersey, that care for a man's beard, from pre-shave oil to beard wash and creams for the skin underneath the top lip. A few years ago, maybe 10 years ago, guys had to shave every day for work and be clean shaven, where I think more companies now are letting guys keep their beards and they don't have to be clean shaven. So a lot of guys are growing their beards. Procter and Gamble have seen falling sales at Gillette, its Boston-based razor division, for a while now. Bullying. The Me Too the movement against sexual Toxic harassment. masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? The firm's recent advertising campaign in the Me Too era, calling for men to be less macho and respectful of women, caused a lot of people to take umbrage. Can Gillette actually change people's habits? Uh, I don't think so. I think they have to just uh, pay more attention to the other factors that are hurting them, to be honest. I think they have to figure out how to compete with the internet brands. They have to figure out how to compete with private labels. Meanwhile, Tommy is all set for winter with a nice warm beard, professionally trimmed and styled. I felt it all prickly and itchy on the neck, so now that's gone away. I feel great about that and just looks sharper, which is what I was hoping for. Now, you remember that fake beard I wore earlier? Well, it came with a fake hairpiece, too, and I couldn't resist trying it all together. There. Country singer Kenny Rogers, isn't it? Or maybe one of the guitarists from the Texas rock band ZZ Top. I think maybe I should just stick to the clean-shaven look for now. John Turret, CGTN, New York.